if you just received your Phantom 3 or if you crash your Phantom, then you need to watch this video to be able to calibrate your IMMU and gimbal. So please stay tuned. Here I'm showing you that you could use your cell phone or a level to get the passive glass level and once you have that done, then you are almost ready to start the IMU calibration. Then turn on your remote controller. Make sure that you activate your DIA Go app. Second, turn on your Phantom by pressing one and then a second time and holding for two seconds to turn it on. Click on the drone icon to bring up the MC settings screen. Go all the way to the bottom. There you will be able to find the sensors option there you will be able to see the check IMU button with this one you will be able to see if you need an IMU calibration or not click OK and as you can see the message said that calibration not required this time okay so basically um, if you need to do the IMU calibration number one make sure that your phantom and battery that you're using are not warm to the touch and then once you have that at a level surface then you can click OK and start the process after that point you just need to wait this part of the video I did it with a little bit faster so you can see the basically what's going on on the screen make sure that you do this only when you crash your aircraft or maybe when you receive it the first time or if you travel and get bump and hit and knock, then you have to do this IMU calibration just to make sure that the Phantom is working properly level. And after you finish the IMU calibration, then do the gimbal calibration. Very easy, just touch the icon that looks like a little camera or the gimbal with a camera then you will be able to find the gimbal auto calibration option and you touch on that little screen you touch OK and you, you will be able to see on the screen that it's calibrating the gimbal you will be able to see some series of movement from the camera going left and right left and right center basically is uh, looking where it's uh, center and level and I just want to let you know that not to expect any message indicating that it completed the calibration but at least allowed an extra minute to see if anything needs to be done after that point if not movement happen or take place then you are okay to turn it off so once again thank you for watching my video as usual have fun learn don't get in trouble and use your toolbox until the next time